Hello everybody, Chad Camano Jackson here. I am the District Archaeologist and Tribal Liaison for the San Luis Obispo Coast District of California State Parks. Today I'm going to talk about Leilin Olivas Odom. In June of this year, Leilin transitioned from this life, leaving a legacy of indigenous knowledge, cultural stewardship, and fierce environmental advocacy to be carried on by her family, her tribe, her colleagues, and many others that she touched in her amazing life. Now, Leilin's ancestry contained a northern Chumash lineage going back thousands of years here in San Luis Obispo County. And her life became one defined by this heritage that she so elegantly embraced as an indigenous woman. I spent much of my early career working with Leilin and I learned so much from her. She worked very intimately with California State Parks and other agencies throughout her life. I was recently able to interview her granddaughter Willow to share a little bit about her grandmother Leilin. So in honor of Leilin's life, we celebrate Native American Heritage Month here on the Central Coast with her in our hearts and the teachings she left in our minds. I'm Willow Olivas Manos and I'm related to Leilin Olivas Soto because I am her granddaughter. We are the tribe of Yak Tichu, Tichu. We are from Avila Beach, we're from Pismo, we're from San Luis County. Um, what can I remember about my grandma? Me and my grandma, she's the reason why I like to sleep under the stars. She was super close to her dad, and her dad was born in Lopez from Rosario Cooper. And he really wanted to make sure that our family knew what our history was wanted to make sure that people knew that we were still here and he wanted to make sure that that was carried on. My grandma wanted to make sure that his beliefs were held on to and um, she fought for our family, she fought for our tribe. I love every experience I had with her. I love everything that I learned. People ask me, how do you know how to do your job and if did you have to go to school for it? And I didn't have to go to school. She's been teaching me my whole life. I've been going to jobs with her since I was in diapers. So monitoring and living this life, it's all you live, it's all you're about. And it's what you dedicate your whole life to. It's what she dedicated her whole life to. She went to every council meeting, she went to every every meeting at the historic museum in Santa Barbara. She went to everything, every powwow, every language conference that was there. She loved archaeology. It was it was part of who we were. It was part of the lesson. It was part of science. And she loved science. Never stay quiet. Always speak up when possible. If you feel like somebody's doing something wrong, speak up and say so. Don't listen, just carry through it. And she wanted to make sure that we were known and that people knew that we were still alive and that we were a part of not just our history but our future as well.